We don't have to be doctors. Like we can go be a college basketball player and go use that as our platform. And so, you know, I'm just trying to be an inspiration and like help show other Indian basketball players and Asian American basketball players that like they can do this too. They don't gotta listen to all the noise. What's up, everybody? My name is Rian Jawani. I'm a freshman guard, and I am from Buena Park, California. You came on a day where we have to do testing, which is which is great stuff. Where should I warm up, fellas? QC, what number are you on on that? Are you using that? All right, second to last one. All right, I've used this. <laughs> we have a very busy day today, fellas. We got a lot of things to do. I think how this works is I have I have five set warm up or like five rep warm up, and then I try to like increase it every time for this test. Okay, that was pretty easy. There's major improvement made in the lab over, over the past eight months. Please look at Kavika, he's, he's throwing down some weight right now. Good God, Kavika. Okay, Kay. I can add, I can add a John. Huh? I think I can add. Okay. Just hang out behind me in case of disasters. As you can see, I like the court better than the weight room. I make shots. I need to work on this stuff, so we're in the lab. Shout out to Coach Holly. What's up, fellas? We just finished out the lift, got our testing numbers up. Now we got a team meeting. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Big time. We just finished our weightlifting testing and just had a meeting with our coaches, had to sign some thank you cards, do all that stuff. Now we're going to go ahead to the dining hall, grab some food, try to bulk up a little because it's skinny boys only over here. And then. <laughs> And then we're gonna go get ready back at the dorm and then we got some cool stuff that I gotta show you guys. So. Welcome to the crib. I'm so sorry. For the <laughs> oh God. I mean, maybe we should just... To know how much of fashion boys we are, this is what we do. Come on in. So, we have four closets and three suitcases stuffed with new purchases down here. I can't even open these closets because of how much clothes are in here. We got teas, a bunch of teas in here. Keys, stuff back there. If you come back here, you see there's three suitcases back there. There's clothes on all those. There's clothes in these. Here's like the first overflow of shoes we got here. These are all like coats, sweaters, hoodies that I've recently been wearing. And like my favorites, like the stuff over here. And then if you come in here, this is where it gets to a level of we can't return. <laughs> this is my side right here. There's three layers here actually. So we don't even know. Look, if, you, if I lift part of this you see there's another layer back there so it's and if I lift this layer you see there's there's more pants see there's denim right there poking out so there's about maybe what do we think oh, god what do we think maybe like 100 pair of pants here yeah. we get a lot of vintage clothes you'll you'll see where we get it and then you see the overflow of shoes there we got some more overflow we got some some light stuff they don't even they don't even know I have all the heat but you know every day we just Stick with the chucks. So I mean, this is the rooms. Yeah, we got a lot. Here's the hoop shoes. So Kobe sixes, another pair of Kobe sixes. This ones are actually really cool. Well, I haven't whipped these out yet, but shout out to my boy K1 Customs. Got the chrome, chrome custom Giannis's. We got the team shoes, and I was like, these are really boring. So we got some calm stuff over here, and then show them the skate. Which, which, which color hooper you know rocking these? Show them the skate. I mean, it's silent. I mean, maybe later we'll go skating. You'll see I'm working on my I'm working on my craft. Yeah. If Coach Klatsky's watching this, which he probably will, we don't I don't ever ride this thing, ever. It's just for decoration. But everything else is kind of dirty, so we could direct ourselves back over there. <laughs> What's up everybody? So everyone sees all the clothes we got on all the time. You guys saw the closet, so this is the place where we get like 90% of our clothes. One of our closest friends, his name's Nick, you guys are about to meet him. 
This is his shop. We actually met him on 14th. This is their second location, so come in. You guys can shop with us for a little bit, so let's go see what he's got. Yeah, hell yeah, this is the boy Nick. This is the guy, he's a model. This is his shop. We met him on the second location, like I was telling you. As you can tell, he's a beast. <laughs> AC was rocking the uh, LA Spark shirt yesterday. Oh, he was? Seven D's racing jacket. I'm gonna have to try this one up. Yep. This racing jacket, you see? Little patch. Racing team on the side. On the inside. Sorry, buddy. So as you see, I just got changed. I'm here at the studio with my boy Jake. We're about to get some cool shots for my portfolio right now. Just hope it goes well. I was kind of scouted my senior year of high school to be a model, and uh, it's something that I always cared about. And my family loves fashion. My both of my parents actually modeled, which was really cool, but kind of like more in the Indian market, and so. I've always cared about, you know, American fashion and just even European fashion. I've always wanted to be in this space and so I started doing TikTok for fun and uh, during COVID got scouted through that a little bit and um, when I figured out that I was going to be moving to New York City for college, I decided to sign with the New York Modeling Agency and uh, it's been a really cool experience, you know, since then. I, 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 it's something I, 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 can, I can see myself continuing doing for years to come. Uh, it's a fun balance where you know you have to kind of time manage and you have to know like when you're in basketball season you kind of have to tell the modeling agency like look like there are castings I can't attend to and there was a New York Fashion Week during kind of our conference tournament and I couldn't go to any of them because it's just priorities and knowing what uh, knowing what's most important at the time and uh, now that it's the off season I'm able to attend more castings while maintaining my workout schedule and I think the biggest thing where I can benefit from both of these things is just eating healthy you know drinking a lot of water just doing things that can benefit both aspects. And you know, I, I enjoy doing both. I think it's, it's very fun, like, depth that I have as a guy. I was wondering what it's like to be a basketball player and a model. The best uh, mishap is when you get elbowed in the face at practice. Shout out to Nick Lip, elbow me. You get a little black eye and then you have a shoot like the next day, so. It's always a good, it's always a fun dilemma to have. Nick Lip and Pop, so. Yeah, whoever, Nick, whoever that Nick Lip guy is, it's up for him. What's up, guys? Been a busy day. Finished the shoot, and now before bed, we're just here at the gym getting some shots up. You know, number one biggest inspiration in basketball is Kobe Bryant. I was fortunate enough to have a personal relationship with him as he was my sister's coach. And uh, so I learned a lot from him. Also, growing up in like the Los Angeles area, I mean, he's like a superhero to me. and. You know, I, I, you know, think back onto the times and conversations we had together, and that's the most important, you know, connection I think I've made throughout the game of basketball. In terms of my play style, uh, someone that I kind of want to model my game after, obviously everyone loves Steph Curry, but just, you know, as an undersized guard who's not very athletic, being able to use like his jumper as like a weapon, I mean, I've, I've, I've almost copied that when I was younger, and now kind of playing to the college style, like taking guys like Tyler Hero, uh, Jordan Poole, you know, like spark guys who can come in and light things up at any point in the game. Those are some guys I really like to, you know, model my game after. I think a quote, it's not really a quote, it's kind of just one word that my dad and I kind of, kind of talked about. And, no, actually my mom, she's gonna get mad that I, that I didn't say her name, but it was kind of a, a, all three of us had this conversation when I was going through some ups and downs in high school. And my dad just said, why? Like, he would say like, write it on your shoes, write it on your hand, why? And uh, so I wrote it on my arm sleeve and it kind of just like represents like, why, why, what's the point of playing, why? Like, why am I waking up every single morning to, to go get my shots up, to go lift, to go put, put in this extra time and effort to all these things that are important to me? And uh, is it for like fame? Is it for money? Is it for people to think I'm cool? And you know, we kind of like, broke down all the walls and kind of figured out like this is just what I love to do and it's 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 almost it's more than just a game to me and so that's kind of something that I live by and I know it's going to stick with me forever and I know I'm not allowed to get tattoos but uh, if I ever was to get one I'd, I'd definitely be on me somewhere 
You know, as a, you know, this is kind of like my personal, like I live by it. It's, I'm an Asian American, I'm an Indian basketball player and there's, there's just not very many out there. And you know, since I was in sixth grade, actually since before that, I've kind of been questioned a lot as to like, you know, you don't look like a basketball player, you're not very strong, you can't jump very high, you're not very fast. Indian people are supposed to be doctors, you know, got family members that even questioned me outside of my circle. And so that's kind of like the most important thing of why I attack every single day and have this like, you know, crater on my shoulders just because you know, you go around the conference, you go to look at all the big teams and the big names and overseas guys and NBA guys and just, you know, in the, in the game of basketball in general. And there just isn't very many, you know, Indian basketball players and, and brown basketball players as a whole. And so I kind of want to be like a face of that and put on and be like, look, like we don't have to be doctors. Like we can go be a college basketball player and go use that as our platform. And so, you know, I'm just trying to be an inspiration and like help show other Indian basketball players and Asian American basketball players that like they can do this too. They don't got to listen to all the noise.